is located in between the Mills Mansion and Roosevelt Mansion. And it's abandoned. And the story has it that it was abandoned because everybody in the family, like Dick Hoyt and his family, they all committed suicide. Um, the architect was Calvert Vox. He designed it as a, a picturesque stone country house. It was a gothic design. And he designed the New York um, Museum of Natural History and the New York Museum of Art. And he was a well-known designer. And that was in 1855. Anything else. Uh, Lydig Hoyt Sr. worked for Ruth Livingston Mills. Uh, he was her financier and bookkeeper. And he worked there for, I don't know how many years it was. Um, it was given to the state by one of the um, female relatives and um, it's been abandoned ever since and it's on the seven to save list in the county the state of new york to restore it but we don't know when that's going to take place and it's um known to be haunted because it's abandoned uh the bridge which took them out onto the main road and into town is um, the, the boards are rotting away and some of them are replaced with new ones so people walk through there all the time. Now it's over the railroad tracks. That's considered haunted at night. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't know what that is. But that was their way to travel in and out of the property. Uh, there's a house, a garden house, uh, the barn, which held uh, the horse, the buggy, uh, t the two buggies that they used to go to town. It was really an awesome place. It, it had a lot of, I think it had a lot of potential even to become restored. It's really uh, an awesome place. It's sad that it, they just let it go like that. I suffer and you turn away. What's our corridors? Miles away from my heart. As I breathe, as I surrender, I hear the sound of. Whispering, replace these pains with these summer days. Butterflies fly to tear away, screaming, I'll tear out, I'll tear out, I'll tear out your heart.
Unfortunately, I couldn't really find out what happened to the Hoyts family as of their deaths. But um, I know that it couldn't be possible that they did commit suicide altogether because then the death dates would be the same, but all the years are really far apart and everything, so it can't really be possible. But um, it is possible that maybe one of them committed suicide, but um, it's going to take a lot longer to figure that out. So as of right now, we don't really know. Well, I really don't know um, what actually happened, but um, hopefully soon I will find out.